All right, so this intro is probably gonna be longer than the review of these dinosaurs. For one, they're dinosaurs. They're made by Mattel. Every one of them is awesome. They're all original, one-off sculpts. They did a great job. Now think for a second, could you imagine if Mattel cared as much about these dinosaurs as they did their DC line? How cool that DC line would be to collect? Or if, now we're really going out here if Marvel Legends slash Hasbro cared as much about that line as Mattel cares about this line. So could you imagine like, like they're making like 42 inch colossal T-Rexes, stuff like this. Could you imagine if Marvel gave us like a 42 inch Galactus and actually sold it to us for $50. So you know that they can do it. They just choose not to do it. Cause they used to say, well, the price of plastic is expensive and just blow a bunch of smoke up our ass and I'm not buying it. They could do it, they don't do it. Mattel is killing it with these. I am going to San Diego Comic Con next week so this will probably be the last video that I do until I get down there. When I do get down there, I'm just basically gonna do a bunch of really quick, short, generic videos just of like booze. I don't know if I'm even gonna talk in the video. The reason is is because there's a million people in there and there's always somebody next to you. And if you're sitting there talking into the camera when there's like 20 people next to you, it's it's kind of embarrassing. It, it's weird. So whatever you request, I will take a video of. You will see it on this channel. It will basically be almost as good as being there. I'm just saying. It's, it won't nearly be as good as being there. Going there is amazing. But I'm gonna do whatever I can do to make the experience almost kinda cool for you. So if you wanna see anything there within reason, I'm not gonna do a boof of like the Powder Puff Girls or My Little Pony or something like that. I did do a wrestling video for one guy. I regretted it the second after I did it, but I did it. But I understand you wanted to see it. It's hard to see. I'll do like neck of booth. Here's the thing when you guys go do the neck of booth, do this booth, do that booth. I do a video of that booth because you guys want to see it on Wednesday. So I'll film it on Wednesday, post it, and then on Thursday, they got more product out. So I'm sitting here going, well, do I do a whole nother video? Do I just wait until Sunday? Otherwise, I could literally do a neck of booth video five days in a row because the booth is constantly changing. The same with the Hasbro booth and most of the other booths. They try to save something for every day of the show to keep you coming back to their booth, which I'm a nerd, I'm probably gonna come back anyways. I'm there for five days, why not? So if I do a video of Marvel Legends, say for instance, I go there Wednesday, I shoot the booth, they're really not gonna have shit on Wednesday, a bunch of figures are already seen. And then come Thursday, they'll add like one more. So do I just do, that's where it gets weird. You let me in the comments what you wanna see. I'll probably just post way too many videos, probably like three or four a day. Watch what you want. If you're not seeing something in the video, let me know. I'll run to that booth, film it for you, for you will get the experience because I know a lot of guys go to like Toy Fair or New York Comic Con and, and I don't ever go to those just because it's they're expensive, dude. It's it's hard to get out of work. At the hotel, one big show a year for me is good enough. So like I'll ask other YouTubers and I'll be like, hey bro, could you film this booth or this or that for I can see it? And they simply just don't even reply back. I won't do that to you. If you want to see something, let me know and you'll see it. And I guess we'll get to it. Oh, I did see Ant-Man. I figured we'll talk about Ant-Man. Why not? I love the movie. It was great. There was things wrong with it. There was a lot of things right with it. I don't want to pick it apart. I had a good time watching it and that's really all that matters. I went opening night and they have this weird hustle now to where the, the hustle used to be like we only sell the tickets for DFX or 3D. Now they have an upgraded hustle which is you get like a package deal which was actually a really good deal and I'm glad that they did it. So it was basically $22 a ticket. You get a ticket to the DFX show, plus you get a popcorn and like a custom one-off 
Ant-Man 10 or Wasp, I think. And then you also got like a collector's little plastic sippy cup thing. That was also really cool. And they gave you a little Ant-Man keychain for like six bucks. They're killing it with that. Now I'm kind of hoping that everybody does that hustle for its $22 a ticket. I'm gonna get these things opened up. We're gonna check them out real quick if you haven't turned off the camera yet because that was really long. The video's gonna be longer, but real quick and then I'll show you the collection. package I got them up here on this board with the numbers on it for you can kind of see how tall they are as far as inches goes these things are perfectly in scale with each other they're perfectly in scale with the action figures this is something that nobody does like Mattel is killing it with this line it's basically like the best toy line of the year if you like dinosaurs if you don't like dinosaurs there's absolutely something wrong with you because God, I just always like when you had, like when you're a kid, you just love dinosaurs because you really didn't know about superheroes yet. Dinosaurs just are always cool. Over here we have the Spinosaurus. I got the original Spinosaurus. I'll pull him out in a second. I I wasn't gonna get him. I passed on him. He's from the first set, and then I saw how horrible the first one was, and I said I need an upgrade. This one is actually from Wave Two. He's really cool. He kind of stands out in your collection. He obviously has a horn, and he's red. And I thought that I needed them. The Triceratops, I also had the original one. And I was like, well, I don't need to get duplicates of dinosaurs. Even though they're fairly cheap compared to all the other action figures out there. you got to figure this thing is like 20 bucks. A Marvel Legends or a DC Multiverse is 20 bucks. This is a one-off sculpt. A great paint. It's, I just can't believe that action figures cost so much. And these dinosaurs... Are actually a really good price these things fly off the shelf so moms come mom comes through the store with the kid they see the dinosaur they see that it's like 12 bucks and they're like sure why not then they see an action figure that's 20 and they're like yeah I don't think so and you want six of them for you put the build them together definitely not this is one of the new ones from wave 2 love it I love everything about it he's like the coolest dinosaur ever made he looks like a horny toad a turtle an armadillo all the coolest little things put into one dinosaur he actually was a real dinosaur and I you know some of these dinosaurs look like they're really out there like they're reaching but they weren't because I checked and these things were actually kind of all real dinosaurs then you have this one this is another one that I passed on originally but he was actually in the movie had a really big role in the movie he helps break down a wall then he breaks down the door and as far as the movie goes I liked it I can pick it apart for days I didn't love it I didn't see it twice it was just a fun movie. It took the family. We all enjoyed it. We had a great time. And it is what it is. The next movie, <clears throat> I think, is going to be mind-blowing good. I am really looking forward to that. Then you have this guy here. His wings move. He's, he's, I didn't have, like, a flying one. This I do, but he wasn't that good. I'll show him to you when I show you, like, all the dinosaurs together. He's just cool looking. I figured I needed another bird because after I saw the movie, there was a ton of, like, flying dinosaurs. So I figured maybe I need to step up my flying dinosaur game. This one here, definitely, like, this is one I was really looking forward to. He flaps his wings really good. He has a sound effect, so I'll shut up for I don't step all over it. The flying action on this thing really looks good. I love it. I love how they hit the buttons on this. The only thing they could have did to improve this is to have a joint here for the feet could come down and make him to where he could actually hold an action figure. That was another thing that happened quite often in the movie. They dropped the ball on that. That would have, that would have, I got almost by two of these things if they would have did that. They didn't. That definitely kind of sucks. Like I wish they would have thought outside the box on that one. And had some feet that could grab something and then you have this one this is like my favorite dinosaur in all my dinosaurs until i get the spinosaurus the new one then that one might be my favorite but i don't know this thing is amazing once again the articulation is very limited the legs move the head is on a ball it's a dinosaur how much articulation do you need then you push this hidden button on its back it makes a sound the tail moves
You can't really ask for anything more than that. I think these things are like 13. I know they're not more than like 15 bucks each. I really think you're getting bang for your buck. Once again, it's a dinosaur. You can't really go wrong. Then you have the Triceratops here. I went ahead and pulled out the old one. The old ones, they weren't in scale with anything. Like you see them side by side. This thing has a plug. You can pull this out for like a battle damage effect, which is cool but it's also whatever i mean it's nice that they give you the option if i can get it in there back in there i might have to you know what i'll put that in later i don't want to take up too much of your time this one's way too big he has an action you can squeeze him his head goes up it doesn't work real good it's got the rubber skin i think the rubber skin is cool and then you have this one which is in scale and it's everything you could ever possibly want He's just amazing. I love the brown one more than I love the green one. The green one, I'm not real sure why it was green. I guess they needed another green dinosaur. You push the button in the back. It's a hidden button. It hides real well. It looks really good. It's a triceratops. I'm not real sure where I'm going to put him. Maybe my kid's room. That would probably be a good place for him. Then you have this one. This one, it's like they need just a little bit more articulation on it. The head doesn't move. It looks really clean. The arms are kind of like on a ball, which I definitely like that. The legs are also on a ball, so they can come out and they can go forward. So they're killing it with that. Tail articulation, that doesn't really work because when you do that, the tail doesn't line up. They should have some kind of joint on the head there. They don't, but it does have a, a, a little gimmick to them. Hey, I'm a sucker for dinosaurs. Toys don't really get any cooler for this. These guys are killing this. I'm hoping that when I go to the show, they're going to have the Spinosaurus on display and a few other dinosaurs, so like the new Indoraptor. I didn't get the, the one that's out now. I'm waiting to get the other one because I only want to get one because there was only one in the movie. And I just, you know, try to save where I can. I don't really save much ever, but... I really don't see the point of that. And another thing about the show, if you guys are actually going to the show, please say hi to me. I'd love to talk to you. Um, I won't shine you like Robo shined me last year. I'm definitely not too cool for any of you. We're all nerds, and it'd just be fun to say hi, say what's up, and like, you know, introduce yourself. It'd be cool for sure. And then you have this one. I have the old one right here. And I thought I was cool with the old one. And then I went back to this store and I go, hold on, man, my old one really sucks. Like that thing looks like garbage compared to the new one. Like I could give this to my kid, but he might not even want it. I'm not sure if it has an action or not. I mean, I've had this thing for like 15 years. It's a really old toy. I mean, I got these at like KB Toy Store for like 75% on the clearance rack. So this thing costs like $2.50. So I guess it's definitely worth that enough about that let's check this thing out which is weird this one doesn't make a sound i guess because he's bigger he does have an action and the action is really cool you push his spike down the tail moves like i love how they hid that there's no hidden button that's just it's just a well done toy this is a 20 dollars toy like that's just unbelievable he looks amazing look at this sculpt like all this sculpted detail the paint, like, what more paint could you want? I guess they could do a little wash, a little airbrush. It's 20 bucks, dude. It's amazing. I'm really glad, you know, what they're doing with this line. This All right, so here's the collection. collection. It's way up top. It's kind of the only place that I had room for, this big, giant playset. And if you're wondering where way up top is, there's the ground down there. There's 10 foot ceilings in the toy room. So this thing's like eight feet up in the air. Here's the new additions right here. Definitely digging those. I gotta be honest, I'm digging all of these, man. They are just killing it with this line. Have the old Jeep, so I didn't fear like I needed the new Jeep. Saw the movie, all those like weird vehicles that you see were actually like in the movie, like the toys. So if you wanted to get those, that would kind of be cool too. I might pick some of those up, but that's gonna be a clearance item for me. If those things go on clearance, then I'll go ahead and pick them up. Here's more of the play set over here. It's right up in the lights. Uh, I don't know, what are you gonna do? You gotta have the lights. Over here is uh, the Mosasaurus, um, the T-Rex, the, the thrash and throw T-Rex. Really digging that one. Here's the old T-Rex over here. 
that's basically the Jurassic Park collection. I got some of the other new ones over there. And if you look around here to the back side of the place that I got the little uh, rolling gerbil cage thing, the RC one. That's my Jurassic Park collection. This thing's not done yet. I'm gonna get some more when that uh, the fall wave comes out. Really looking forward to that. And I'm liking them so much, I'll probably get more when the next movie comes out. Unless they're just repaints of this one, which that would be nice because I could save some money. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you at the show.